Jason or Charlie? Well, Aubrey O'Day is right here. She's the star of Oxygen. It's all about Aubrey. And she's with me in New York. It's great to see you, as always. Hi. I know you're all fired up about Two and a Half Men. I know you I watched am. the show last night. Yes. So I need to get your take I'm on Team our, Ashton. Oh, was, uh, right there to the showbiz flash point. Team Ashton, huh? All the way. Yeah. It was a little dark for me. Obviously, the writing is brilliant. I didn't feel um, as much comedy as I usually see in it, but I do think that the ratings spoke for themselves, and uh, hopefully in the next three weeks they'll continue to speed. Yeah, yeah, That's think, the key. Well, the ratings aren't going to stay that high. There was a definite yeah. interest for the tune-in factor. There's been so much hype and publicity, but I have a feeling they will bring back lots and lots of eyeballs to the show again next week. I want to bring in a former star of the TV show The Bachelor, Bob Getty. Bob is now the host of a fantastic new show you got to check out on HGTV called Show House Showdown. Great to see you, Bob. I want to get your take on our show this Flashpoint. Do you like Ashton or Charlie better in the role? I guess I was always a huge fan of Charlie, but I have to say Ashton was pretty awesome last night. And I, I of course, T voted because my show was on at the same time. <laughs> but um, you know, I got a chance to check them both out, and I thought Ashton was great. I'm excited to see how the show keeps going. Yeah, I, I won't even ask you if you were ripping out your hair last night because you were up against the show. But quite yeah. frankly, whoever is in, whoever's the winner in the role, it certainly looks like Charlie Sheen is definitely winning when it comes to making money from Two and a Half Men. Still, now we did learn today. Charlie is reportedly very close to settling his battle with Warner Brothers. Warner Brothers, of course, produces Two and a Half Men. Check it out. This deal could eventually net Charlie a hundred million bucks, including money that he makes from reruns of the show. So, Aubrey, despite that, I get the feeling that Charlie is still wishing that he was on there doing the show, making his million and a half plus a week. If he could take it all back, I don't know if he would do that, but I think I think he still wishes he had this gig. I don't think so. He looked like he was living out loud on that roast last night. He loved the attention. I think he loved he loved where he is right now and where it's gotten him. And yeah, I think there was a lot of happy face being put on though too because he had to put out his best foot. No. Well, you know what? I think it's it's an interesting concept because when bad things happen, it's it's embarrassing, it's humiliating. At the same time, it makes you a bigger star, and that's what he his initial goal was. Well, yeah, no question about that. And he is reinventing himself right along the way. Showbiz night, by the way, was right there with scenes former co-star John Cryer when John was getting his star on the Walk of Fame yesterday, of course the afternoon before the big premiere and the big roast, he wasn't at all shy about talking about Charlie getting booted from Two and a Half Men. Watch what John Cryer told you this tonight. When it came time to make the ultimate decision, which was someplace that nobody wanted to go, um, did something that I, in my belief, uh, saved my friend Charlie Sheen's life. Yeah, I mean, I hear that. I think John Cryer is being really sincere here, and Charlie definitely seems like he's at least back on the straight and narrow again for now. Bob, do you agree that getting fired from men was actually probably the best thing that has happened to Sheen recently? I, well, I mean, I, I don't know Charlie personally, but I actually do know Chuck Lorre, and, and I have to say that, you know, ultimately that kind of decision could not have been an easy one to make. But I think that maybe getting a little slice of humble pie, you know, may have woken him up a little bit. I mean, clearly he went on a rampage for a while, which was... It was fun to watch, I won't lie, you know, watching his Twitter feed and everything else, but um, maybe it was the one thing that actually kind of got him back to reality a little bit. Yeah, and, and again, possibly saved his life. All right, Bob Guinea, Aubrey O'Day, thank you both so much. Make sure you catch Bob's new show. It's Showhouse Showdown on HGTV, and you can catch Aubrey O'Day on Oxygen's All About Aubrey. Now, coming up, we've got to get to a Beyonce exclusive. You cannot miss this. Tonight, Beyonce's brand new reward of words in the Runaway Housewife scandal. Tonight, Mikhail Salahi is going to reveal why she made the shocking decision to leave her husband for a rock star. And wait till you hear what Mikhail's husband is calling her now. Also, this. Well, hey there. Here's what you sleep. A woman wakes up and finds herself married to George Clooney. The Eternal Bachelor, married? Just after he broke up with his girlfriend? This is Showbiz Tonight on HLN News and News. Here comes the Showbiz News Picker. More stories from Showbiz Tonight Newsroom. Making news tonight. A big mashup of the best soap opera and the best reality show kind of rolls into one. But wait, there's more. In his interview with E, it is all about Aubrey. Also, New York drop shooter who's called the pop eaters naughty, but nice. All right, we got to get to it. you got to hear about these pictures, or the picture, the Journey guitarist Neil Sean allegedly sent Tarek. Watch what he told E! News about that. I get a, uh, a very disturbing email from Mr. Neil Sean. He sends to the Oasis main server, which, you know, goes to multiple emails of his 
penis. This was wow. the lewdest, most disgusting thing I had seen, and I didn't understand why in the world would Neil Sean be sending a picture of his penis to us at Oasis, to our master account. I was uh, disturbed to see that. I mean, is it bad for me to say he wanted to rub it in? I bought it. I, I got I to side with Tarek on this one. I mean, if Neil did, in fact, email this picture of that to Tarek, that's pretty disturbing, Aubrey, isn't it? Yeah, it is. I think it was probably meant for her, or maybe he was trying to rub it in. I don't know. But it was pretty big. The screen was pretty blurred. Well, in a brand new interview that was revealed today, we heard Mikhail tell her side of the story, and she said she's happy. So why rub it in Tarek's face, so to speak? <laughs> <laughs> he I mean, yeah. it's, it's maybe it's something he likes to rub in people. I don't know. Maybe he's very proud of this. Um, it's the oddest story, and if we know anything about these two, it's only going to get odder. Are you going to be able to listen to Journey's open arms in the same way ever again? Don't stop no. believing. Oh, I won't. All right. But I will faithfully move on now, because we cannot forget that Neil ran away with Mikhail just two months after getting married to his fifth wife. So, Aubrey, I'm thinking when you know that, that Mikhail better stay on her toes if she doesn't want to wind up, kind of like Tarek wound up in this whole situation at some point. I mean, unfortunately, that's usually what happens. You come in, you go the same way you came in. I mean, if he's... <laughs> <laughs> and it's not even rubbing. And it has nothing to do with rubbing, okay? Oh, no, please. It's a bad way to go down. I mean, it's just the truth. You, she, she walked into a situation, and it's going to be what it's going to be. And I'm sure she's going to love it. I'm sure she'll be TiVoing showbiz the next time they keep teeth on her, and she's with somebody new. Well, of course, they were together 15 years ago, and she does claim that they, you know, it sounds like that she believes they're soulmates, Rob. She, 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 she if that's that. in the past. Yeah, I think, I think she does. Um, what's so odd about this story for me is that they're willing to share so much of it with the rest of right. us, which sort of lends me to believe that maybe they're enjoying and this whole attention. Well, I'm, I'm surprised. I'm surprised that Neil Sean is. We've never seen oh, anything like this from, from before, and quite frankly, look, I, I, I come from a music I've known this guy's name for decades, but most people are hearing his name for the first time. Let's let's face it, okay. it's a little odd. I'm not surprised at all that the Salahis, given their reputation, are being so public about this. And the fact, <laughs> the fact that Tarek is like showing that picture. All right, that makes me want to move on to another reality show, Housewife, is making some big news tonight. This is for her breakdown on her TV show last night. Now, for the very first time, Real Housewives of Beverly Hills star Taylor Armstrong appeared to be cracking under the pressure of her strained relationship with her now late husband, Russell. Obviously, the show was shot before Russell committed suicide. But take a look at what happened over the course of the show last night. This is interesting. Taylor is in a suitcase. I feel like I'm breaking. I'm in love with him. That makes me so I mean, I guess that the show is loaded with this kind of drama, but Taylor really does appear to be having a nervous breakdown when you watch this. And Rob, quite frankly, I found it uncomfortable to watch. Yeah, I find it heartbreaking. Before the suicide, this was just silly and funny TV to me. Now, knowing what we know happened, it's made this heartbreaking. I'm surprised Bravo decided to keep yeah. this in. I'm happy they did. I, I know that that's the not the it's the minority opinion, but I have to say this: reality TV is a joke nowadays. It's anything but real. It doesn't touch your heartstrings. When I watch this, it it makes me want to call the people I love. It makes me want it reminds me of values, morals. It reminds me. It it, it allows the escape to kind of hone in and become something that can really touch my life. And that is what that was the point of reality TV before we had TV sure. stars that were doing ridiculous. So you, you think that trumps the sensitivity level of how this may make I think his family, real. Russell's family feel? I think it's real. Okay. It's real. No, and, it's, it's, and that's what we need. We need real. We need people to say real things and to do real things. This was something that, that was obviously very traumatic for everyone involved. And she is not the only one going through it. Right. And she will be a role model for everyone well, we expect real from you and all of For sure. <laughs> Aubrey O'Day, Rob Shooter. I do appreciate both your insight on this. Moving now to a Beyonce baby exclusive. B opening up big time about what life's been like since she revealed to the world her pregnancy. So she can just tell us if it's a boy or a girl. And show is trending tonight. Pippa's royal slip up. Wait till you see this. Kate Middleton's sister nearly pulled up in crown.
and so pleased to have singer on reality TV star Harvey O'Day back with me now in New York. So, Pippa was just spotted at London's Fashion Week, and she was this close to pulling a Britney, you know, pantyless partying Britney, as Pippa was sitting right there, as you see, at the front row of a fashion show. Aubrey, are you a little shocked that Pippa could already, so soon after being crowned fashion icon, make a fashion no-no like this? What was she thinking? That's showbiz, kid. <laughs> I think she's trying to join the royal family of white girls that don't wear panties. Who, 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 well, you mean... Brittany, oh, Paris, Lindsay. So you're giving, you're giving them royal titles now. <laughs> I don't know. You, you would think you would know better than going to a fashion show and you're going to be photographed. Right. And, uh, mistake? I, I, it doesn't even look like the dress is that tight to where she would have any bunching or lines, which would be the only reason why you wouldn't right. wear panties. So you think she did it intentionally to garner attention? Okay. I hope not. God, mm -hmm. I thought we were past that phase. All right. Well, let's move on. You're making me uncomfortable. <laughs> Please. There's another story that's trending tonight. Beyonce's baby secrets. We heard a little earlier from Beyonce exclusively about how she thrilled and relieved she was to finally tell the world about her pregnancy. And I'm thinking with Beyonce's talent and Jay-Z's talent and Beyonce's beauty, I think that uh, Surrey Cruz needs to move over perhaps and even Shiloh Jolie Pitt. Is this going to be the biggest celebrity baby ever? Everyone needs to move over. Biggest celebrity baby, hands down. We're all very excited about so it. So I hope she has a little girl. And I all hope right. she makes all the boys well, put a ring on it. She's six months long. Aubrey, great to see you. Thanks so great much.